each activity in Microsoft Project has like a unique ID, and this is saved in, in Digital Project so that, you know, if you have any activity, if the name changes, it doesn't matter because that unique ID still exists for that, for that particular task. So I'm going to select the, um, the, the second and third elements here, uh, holding down the control button and hit remove. And I'm going to double click the number two here. And I go up to my tree here and select the, the level two, um, the side two uh, lower glazing elements right here. And do the same for this one. My third side lower elements. And just like the, the lower one, we'll do the same thing for the upper one. Take out those last two elements. Click OK. And then we're going to go up to my, my tree here and locate. You can see it highlighted there. There's my second upper. And there's the third one. All right, so now um, when we run the simulation, we'll see that these, these different uh, facade elements uh, will kind of be broken out in the schedule. So go back to the simulation window. I'm going to go back to the beginning just by hitting that, that start button there. And zoom in and hit play. So you'll see like before that okay it's gonna it's gonna keep building the floors up and then it adds the facade and the different sides of the facade are now broken out into different activities. Hit my reset. So you can see it's pretty um, it's pretty straightforward uh, linking up the um, the digital project model with Microsoft Project. Uh, there's there's a lot of back and forth. You can you can edit the the Microsoft Project file however you need, change the durations, add uh, additional tasks, and have that reflected um, in the model and run different simulations of uh, running different scenarios for the, for the model. All right, so I think uh, that wraps up the demonstration for today. Um, I just wanted to remind everyone that uh, we, have, uh, we have webinars um, page now in the Gary Technologies page. Uh, it has the latest information for signing up for future webinars. Uh, it has the YouTube uh, videos you can link to here. Um, we also have a webinars Q&A page. So if you've had some questions, um, it's possible that uh, other people have already asked those questions. Just take a look at the Q&A page and, and uh, see what people have asked. There's answers and links to various questions. Um, so next week um, we're going to be covering interoperability with Digital Project um, and specifically Digital Project and other BIM platforms primarily using the IFC standard. So we're going to be looking at how the IFC standard uh, is addressed in Digital Project um, in order to translate relevant information from various BIM platforms to Digital Project. Uh, following next week's session, I'm going to be in Chicago for the Acadia uh, workshop we're giving on knowledge patterns. Um, I just wanted to, to let 
everyone know that we'll be taking um, a week off after after next week's session um, because I'll be in Chicago. So we'll start up two weeks after um, next week's session for the seventh webinar on um, drawing generation. Um, so I'd like to uh, thank everyone for coming. Um, again, this is just the starting point um, for everyone to uh, start start working with digital projects. Um, if you need additional help, there is training available. Uh, you can you can go on to the website under training. There you can send in training requests. Uh, we can set up a training at your location. Um, granted that there are about five people uh, that are ready to do training. Uh, we can talk about um, timing and cost. All right. So thank you again for attending. Um, next week, we'll be dealing with interoperability, IFC, and uh, so thank you again for attending. Uh, same time, same place. Thanks.